Mac computers allow you to have more than one user. Having more than one user allows two different people to share the same computer, each with their own personal settings and documents. There are two kinds of users, admin and standard. For Gertrude to safely protect your child, their user needs to be of the standard type, because admin users can disable and uninstall Gertrude. If you have more than one admin user, you can remove the admin privileges for one of them and use that user to safely protect your child with Gertrude. Here's how. Go up to the upper left-hand corner of the screen and find the Apple icon and go to System Settings. Then scroll down and find Users and Groups, or you can search for it up here. Here you can see that I have two users and they're both admin. I would like to remove the admin privilege from this Franny user, turning it into a standard user. To do so, click the icon on the right and uncheck where it says allow this user to administer this computer. You'll have to put in your password, then click done. Now, you may find that the toggle to remove administrator privileges is grayed out. You can't click it. It doesn't do anything. If that's the case, the reason is that you are logged in as the user you are trying to remove the admin privileges from, which Mac doesn't allow. If that didn't make sense, imagine in this scenario that I were logged in as Franny and were also trying to remove the admin privileges from Franny. It's just simply not possible. So in that case, it's just one extra step. You need to log out of the current user, Franny in my example, log back in as a different admin user. And then from that other admin user, you will have the authority and the ability to revoke the admin privileges. And usually at that point, you also get a message saying that you need to restart the computer for the changes to take effect. If you get that message, just go ahead and restart. Once you've turned the user into a regular standard user, you just log in as them by going to the lock screen, choosing switch user, select the user, enter the password. Once you're logged in as the non-admin user, you should be able to go to a finder menu in the applications and find and launch the Gertrude app, assuming you've already downloaded it and installed it on another user. If not, you can always go to Safari and download it from gertrude.app slash download. One quick note, make sure that your child does not know the password of any admin users on the system. If they know the password, they can still disable and uninstall Gertrude. So take a second and change the password if they know it, or if it's a password that you think might be easy for them to guess.